verse 4, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. Right, so it's letting us know here, there ain't gonna be no burials. You're gonna have to move on. Oh, this is someone I grew up with, I identify his face. This was a friend in the world. In high school, oh man, he's bitten up, he's being pecked up by the birds. You're gonna have to move on, we're gonna continue on that. Yep, and it says, um, they shall die of, it doesn't just say they're gonna die deaths, grievous. It says they are gonna die of grievous deaths. Yes. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. They shall be consumed by the sword uh -huh. and by famine and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven cool, and for man, the right. beasts when of when the earth. Right. So there shall be a dung as the earth, shit upon the earth and their carcasses for what? For the beasts oh, that and the fowls. So lucky I didn't mean to cut you but that ties to Micah 7 and 10. Yeah. Let me just quickly bring it out. For the beasts and the fowls. So again, the animals are going to be what? Having a feast day. The birds are going to be feasting, pecking out eyeballs. Yeah. No intestines because people are going to be ripped open as well. Yeah, and that's going to be a heavy smell because um, if they burst the stomach, all well, that stink, stink is going to be coming out. Yep, and the people said in World War II, their accounts that the, the stench was awful. And have, have any of you ever smelled a dead body? Well, all you've got to do is leave some meat in the sun for a while and that stinks like hell, man. <laughs> Oh man, that's what I'm saying. Reeks, I have once experienced it. Okay. Smell what? A, a real dead, dead body. What? A woman that was um dead. Nobody knew she was dead. And she was in the flat. Yeah. And I never forget. I was doing some work. A postman. And you opened a letterbox. Didn't. Oh no, no. The whole flat. The whole flat. All the spray in the world. Everything. You could still smell death. So I've smoked death before. And it's so bad, I can't even describe this. I can't describe the smell. That's how bad death smells. You know, that was the most like you preparing you for the times to come. You can't mm. with him. Yeah. I got a but you can't of... describe it. The smell of death is... Mm. It was so bad, I had to put... Every time I would post something for there, I had to go that. <laughs> and I could still smell it. That's how bad it was. All right, I've got a precept. Oh, so lucky. And a dog died as well, because the dog was in there and it, was, it wasn't getting fed. So hurt and... <laughs> oh, man. The hand joining in hand. Yeah. Oh, the dog's innocent. Um, it says Micah 7 and 10 Then she that is mine enemy shall see it And shame shall cover her Who said unto me Where is your how are thy power Mine eyes shall behold her Now shall she be trodden down As the mire of the streets And if I may speak on this for a second yeah, This is funny because We are talking about the dead being cast out as dung In the times to come You might be walking Doing what you're doing Ducking diving to do what you do you might end up seeing one woman who used to think she was all, all that in the world and she wouldn't look at you twice, like yeah. maybe you moved to her and she's like no I don't want to move to you or anything like that you might see her ass lying down in the street as the dead dung yeah, I hope so Lord willing, yeah. Lord willing because this is what it says she shall be trodden down as the yeah. mire of yeah. the streets yeah. Yeah. and what's mire? Yeah. shit, yeah. 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 dirt, residue yeah. you know, so that's what's going to happen and, and you might just see her face. Especially with Eve, up. especially with yeah. these Negro women that want to join Eve so hand in hand. Yes, yes. You know? Yes. Foolish. But it's back to Amos, yeah? Yeah. No, no, Amos, done with that. We're done with that. Uh, Jeremiah. It was, it was, um, no, 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 it was. You finished on Jeremiah, wasn't it? We're back on 2nd Ezra. Oh, okay. About the birds, they're going to pick up them oh, okay. eyeballs. Them fowls right. are, the, are going to be hungry as well. Okay, so it says. um. Playing some good music in the background. <laughs> Second Ezra 16. Yeah, 16 which verse? And it was, we were on verse, we were going on to verse, it's like you're 15. And verse 24. The one, I found it again. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them? So there shall no, mom, no man be to till the earth. Because right now, what's Esau doing? He's tilling the earth. How do you think you're getting your grapes? How do you think you're getting your vegetables? How do you think you're getting your tangerines and oranges and all that? Nobody's going to be able to till the <coughs> earth. Because what? They're going to die. Mm. They're going to be trying to fend for themselves. Yep. It says the grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them? Beautiful. <laughs> the grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them? Why? Because it's going to be, it's going to be no, what do you call them, them farmers? There's going to be no farmers about. <laughs> yep. And it says for all the places shall be desolate of men. Oh, well, that's a powerful Wait, scripture. This, this, this is going deep now. Yeah, go on. I was just going to say, because that proves Isaiah 4 and 1. The place is going to be desolate of men. And doesn't it say in that day, seven, men, seven women shall take hold of one man, mm -hmm. saying we shall eat our own bread. 
and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name. So that makes sense because if the earth is desolate of men, the only men that these women are going to really have a chance with is the men of the Lord. Yep. Desolate of men, empty. Continue on that. It's going to get yep. deeper now. And it says, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. One man shall, des shall desire to see another. Desire to see another. So hold on a minute. In cities, how much? There's thousands within a city. Or maybe even more. What's it? Million? Millions. So like yeah. Yep. Within a city. So if one man desires to see another man, where are all these other men? Dead. Yep. This is the reality of stuff. This ain't a joke. This is reality. Start envisioning this when we're reading. I've, I'm not going to lie. There's been times, you know, you pick up the Bible, you're tired, you're just reading it, you're putting yeah. it back down. But it's that vision. Okay, in these times. Yeah. Continue on that, Bible Kasha. It says, For in a city there shall be left ten, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rock. So it's just going to be two or ten of a whole city that hide themselves in the field. So you're going to have certain men hiding themselves in the field. Okay, and if they're not of the elect, they're going to get put to death anyway. But the elect, I've certainly got elect going to be in the field, yes, but they're going to be looked after. Yep. And it says, as an orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left three or four olives. Or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Oh man, so we said, see, so can you read that again? Yep. Slowly. As an orchard of olives upon every tree, Olive. There are only left three or four olives. Three or four olives. So this is lacking unto the similitude of those that are going to be up on earth in particular cities. Yep. And it says, or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. So there are left some clusters of those that diligently seek through the vineyard. So you're going to have people, this is indicative of people searching your house for food. Mm -hmm. People in the houses, they're going to be dead also. Well, because they've been attacked by this time, they'd be attacked, starvation or some type of calamity has overthrown them. So there's going to be people searching the houses. So Anything like, else? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to read on, but may I just make a point? I've been reading a lot of news stories in the past few years about dog owners being attacked and killed by their own dogs. And that's something else that might be coming in the times to come, because the most I put spirit on this dog to just rise up and bite the owner in the neck, uh -oh. and they'll be taken out, because at the end of the day, it's all judgment, and these people have got to go. So you don't know how you're going to go. It could be the nukes, it could be the chariots, right. it could be anything. So the Lord, the Lord might just put a spirit on an animal to just, you know, wreck it, destroy you. Yeah. So right. reading on, it says, Where am I? Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search if their houses with the sword. Now it says they're going to be searching your houses with a sword. <laughs> So that's going to be some shit, man. You that's might be seeing at home, someone kicked through your front door with a machine gun or a machete in their right, hand, yep. looking to take your stuff. So it's, 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 it's going to be heavy. Can you read that one again? Can't. It says, even so in those days, there shall be left three or four by them that search if their houses with the sword. Three or four of them that search if their houses by the shore. So you're still going to have certain individuals that pack up together, but they, they, they're, they're going to have to really trust each other yep. to be doing that. Or that search their houses with the sword. So again, my advice say if you have got them locks, put don't put the one lock, put the two locks, get a third lock. But hey, that's not even gonna do. No amount of locks is gonna yeah, stop the spirit and the life. So what's it showing you? People are gonna be breaking through houses. Watch these zombie films. Watch Walking Dead. This this is a scene out of Walking Dead. People walking, you know, looking to eat you, bite you. Well not yeah. so yeah, well that's gonna happen as well. Well they're gonna be cannibals, aren't they? So they're gonna be essentially it's the same thing, just wondering. Yeah, Avia, you wanted to say something? Yeah, no, I was going to say that um, they're going to unleash those robo-cop dogs and all them thing oh, there. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, had a, I mentioned it to uh, my art that one of them came in the, in the yard. This is the vision, the vision, right? And it, it got in the yard, the, the back door, which, you know, like the front, and it just got in. So it must have smashed whatever it just, however it got in, it got in. So I'm there sitting there, right? I'm watching it and I, I, what I do, I sometimes have the quilt and I've got the quilt and I'm putting the quilt over my eyes, right? But I'm watching it. It went into the passage, it come back, uh, went into the kitchen, come back, looked at me, looked at me, you know. It was scanning me. This is what Mark said, it must have been scanning me. Then it went out. It come back again, right? Because remember, I'll, I'll tell you after. And it come close up, looked into my eyes, yeah? And it must have been scanning me like, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, getting feedback. And the most high 
He's in control of them. Yep. You understand? So he must have scanned me. Most of us, all the angels, um, done some kind of, you know, right hand side magic and thing. And it went out, <laughs> left me alone. But I'm dead. I'm, and you mentioned earlier, my heart was beating in the yep. vision. Yep. It was like a real thing, but my heart was busy, be beating. And somebody just said, don't move. Just stay there. Don't run. Don't run. Nothing like that. So when this thing pop off, according to the vision, if I go by the vision, we don't have to run or get shook. Do what the Most High says, stand still. Because I'm, 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 you're right as the Spirit saw me, I might do a video on it. And just obey what the Most High tells us to yeah. do. He's in control of them. The you know? scriptures say, be still and the Lord will fight for thee. Right. right. Because we're coming into that time, was there anything on that? Um, yeah, just keep going. It says, and the earth shall be laid waste and the fields thereof <laughs> shall wax old. And her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns. All right, now you're looking at all this, all that pathway that's going to grow of thorns. Yep. All these pathways are going to grow back. Why? Because there's not going to, there's not going to be nobody walking there. Pathways are set through constant people walking through there. Yep. When people stop walking, then there's not a pathway. It's just going to spring up again. Yeah, with thorns and all that other stuff. So even land's going to grow again. But I was going to say land's have a but that don't matter because. America ain't going to enjoy their land type because it's going to get burnt up. Yep. I was going to say that. Very missing to last day. Have you had a text from Eldo Mard or anything? No, uh, no, but only Yakel. Yakel says he's not making it. Oh, oh. man, no. Yakel's not making it, but uh, Mard should be coming. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get in contact with him, yeah? Right. Yeah, hold up, hold up, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. going to get critical out here, but yeah, America ain't going to enjoy it. It's land summer because America's gonna be burnt up. That's right. You know, so yeah, there ain't gonna be people toiling the land, but it's still gonna get burnt up. Oh, there's more in this. Yeah. And it says, um, the but let me go again. It says, and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Oh, sorry, that's spiritual. See, I didn't even realize it said that no man shall travel there through. Yep. So that's why it's gonna grow. Man, everything's gonna grow. Even uh, the cities and stuff, all the concrete and stuff, that's gonna get all broken up, yeah. and it's gonna turn back into um, like grassland again. Yes. And it says, uh, "Their virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. And their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers." Okay, because this gonna be those that are sent out as well. Those that have died, fathers that had daughters that died, those that were put out in the military, they're gonna die. The scriptures say that in 2nd Ezra 13. They made war with the lamb. Yeah. Okay. And they didn't want to fight, but they still proceeded to fight. A lot of death, a lot of death. Okay, so this is heavy. What we got? This is heavy. Oh, it goes into This that. is heavy prophecy. We didn't even think we'd get into this, but this is heavy prophecy today. Good stuff. Verse 34, it says. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Ah. Now, that's an interesting word. It doesn't just say, oh, their bridegrooms are going to die. It says their bridegrooms shall be destroyed. Right. They're going to be, oh man. Doesn't it say um, that um, they tried to fight, but then he perceived that there's only dust and smell smoke. of smoke? Yep. Second S was 13. Oh, that, let me. So they were commanded to fight against Yahabashai. And they didn't want it when these are, we're talking about military men, marines. These are tough, these are tough men. If you men know about of it, war. Yeah, marines are tough mentally. So these men not wanting to fight shows how, how scared they were. It's a oh, reality. Man. You know? I've Anything got an else on that? Yeah, I've got an article as well. That bring I'm it like. out, bring it out, Wait, whatever. Let's finish this first. It's about the chariot signs. Uh, it says, Their virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms, their women shall mourn having no husbands. <laughs> and their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Hear right. ye now these things, and understand them, ye servants of the Lord Yehoshaphat. Now, speak on it. I'm gonna get into an article, if I may. All right, all right. Because they're talking about the death of the bridegrooms, because there's gonna be the chariots out here. If I can find the article I had the other day. Mighty no trouble. See if I, why you're looking for that. Let me see if I can find yeah. it. Well. Yeah, because the mighty man Esau's gonna be um yeah, I've got it. trying to war against the Shire, but he's not gonna proceed. Yeah. Alright, so I've got an article here that I was reading the other day from RT and it says this <laughs> UFOs <laughs> have been repeatedly so UFOs have repeatedly interfered with US nuclear technology, sometimes taking facilities offline. That's according to the former head of the Pentagon's 
Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, Luis Elizondo. Now, uh, I think this is a quote here, it says, Now, in this country, we have had incidents where these UAPs, which is acronym yep. for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, have interfered and actually brought our offline nuclear capabilities. So, and actually brought offline our nuclear capabilities. Elizondo told the Washington Post, adding, I think that there is certainly at this point enough data to demonstrate that there is an interest in our nuclear technology, a potential to even interfere with that nuclear, te nuclear technology. His revelation, or what, what a word they chose to use, his revelation comes shortly ahead of an unclassified report on unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAPs, observed by the US Navy pilots due to be submitted to Congress, Congress this month. Elizondo claims that the report definitively stated once and for all that UAPs <coughs> were not US, Russian or Chinese technology. So, these, Euro these uh, UAPs, these chariots, they're making themselves known now. They're not Chinese, mm -hmm. they're not Russian, mm -hmm. they're not American, yeah. and they've got the ability to take their whole facilities offline. And they're, they're showing an interest in their nuclear capabilities, which is a fulfillment of prophecy because those nukes aren't just going to sit there gathering dust for the next right. thousand years. Those nukes are going to be fired. Yeah, that's that's true. Specific. Because the scripture says um, they're wiser than Daniel. So Ooh, Esau's got the technology. And yep. the wise men of team and we try what the German so-called Jewish scientists. Yep. The, okay. Those those Timonites were considered some of the wisest among Esau. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. they still they still are. Bosch. You ever heard of that company Bosch? Yeah, yeah Bosch, they make yeah. Them home yeah. Technology stuff, that's right? that's yeah. Germany. Yeah. BMW. <coughs> mm -hmm. You know BMW and um, um, um Mini Cooper, it's the same engine. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's the same. Cooper. It's the same. That's why everybody's getting minis now. Okay. Minis, I've always considered minis to be good. Mercedes. Mercedes is what? Yeah, Germany. Volkswagen. You know, and these are good cars. So yeah, Volkswagen. they're good producers. Germany produce a lot of stuff. Yeah. Even hot dogs. Yeah. And, and, and they, yeah, and, and it, yeah, because they make it to for strength, for stir, to be sturdy, to last. Yes. They're known for their durability. And there's another uh, car in um. That's produced in Jamaica a lot. Some say it's stuff. Toyota. Oh, Toyota. Yeah, who, yeah the who Japanese, uh, Japanese company. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Honda but, as well. Okay, I'm gonna get get into bring, Joel. Bring it out wherever you got. Yeah. This is uh, Joel, the second chapter. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of your hour cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness, which is what we got into earlier. A day of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and strong, have there not been ever the that. light, neither shall there be any more after it, no, even to the years of many generations. Now a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is a garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yay, nothing shall escape One a day. So what's that talking about? That's talking about thermonuclear destruction. Those ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, are going to be fired yeah. into the ends of the earth. Eventually, better than Particularly on Babylon the Great. Isaiah 54 and 16, Baba This is just never end. See, this is just, bro, it's never ending. Prophecy after prophecy after prophecy after prophecy. You know, I didn't think we'd get into this topic, but we're also going to touch on after this. We're touching a bit of faith, man, because I want to boost brothers, yeah, I want to boost brothers' faith up. We talk about these prophecies, but again, that's what we have the news for. We're not really, we're, we're newscasters, but you know what, we're not going to, you know what I'm saying? Got you know about, yeah, so right. what we're here to do is build up your faith. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument of his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So the smith, what's the smith? You've got blacksmith, you've got goldsmiths. What do they do? They heat up that furnace and they knock it, they bang that instrument. And that's how you got what, that metal formed. That's how the missiles are formed. Okay, but on a higher wavelength. For what, the, the agent, the, the modern day smith are the German so-called Jewish scientists. And it wasn't just Eisenhower. I done a video with more 
scientists, and it wasn't just Eisenhower, there was many. But what? That's the Smith, the scientist. And they took out what the Iranian physicists, what, last year? Okay? And that's why all that's all that's all hell's breaking loose. Iran, now they the ball's in their court. Now they're calling the shots. Oh. US wanna do um a nuclear I see it all the time, I post it up. US wanna do a nuclear um agreement and Iran are saying nope, nope, the ball's in our court now. You have to do what we say, so you think you see how prophecies are playing out? And there's another I've got another article as well actually. Bring it up. If I can find it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, this is another article. Um, it says the Russian government is preparing to transfer all currency liquidity from the dollar to the euro, according to an announcement made by the finance ministry. The move comes after the finance minister Anton Silinov decided it is time for Russia to, dish, to ditch the, the dollar altogether and to cut its reserves with the National Wealth Fund down to zero. And it says, as a quote, our goal is to make Russia a euro-orientated country so that the dollar is replaced by the euro. And I think we have every reason for this. This will also apply to the liquidity of currency exchange and so on, said Dmitry Timifev, if I'm reading that correctly. It says the head of the finance ministry's department of external uh, restrictive measures control. It says, according to the finance ministry official, the dollar currently counts for 80% of the currency exchange on the Moscow Stock Exchange, and the euro accounts for less than 20%. Of, and the yuan and other currencies are completely non-liquidated, completely non-liquid. Now, the reason why I'm bringing that article out is because it shows how how Russia is going against America. Because prior to this, any country that wanted to drop the US dollar. America would go in and they fuck their shit up. I mean, just look at what happened to um, Colonel Gaddafi oh, when he tried man. to do the gold dinner. They put his ass to death and they put his ass oh, to yeah. death publicly. Oh, yeah. But now, the Russians, they're strong. So that they're not going to be bullied by America. But you, you best believe America ain't happy about this because once Russia drops, drops the dollar, other countries are going to want to do the same. And then Russia might be backing them saying, look, okay, we'll offer you uh, military support if you drop the dollar. If every country starts dropping a dollar, America's going to go even more down. This can all lead to what we know is coming anyway, which is World War III. Right. Now, this is the thing. If you watch the, um, pay attention to the, the finance, they say um, all wars are bankers' wars. Mm -hmm. So, if financial wars start before physical wars is what I'm trying to say. So this is all um, fulfillment of prophecy. On one hand, you've got the chariots, they're fucking up with the nuclear technology. Yep. And on the other hand, you've got Russia going against America. Indirectly, but it's still going up against each other. And the scriptures say that it's going to be Russia versus America in World War Three. Right, because in Ezekiel 38, it tells you about that. Okay, all these nations, um, Magog, Magog, okay. Yeah. Magog, okay, Togama, which is what, Turkey, and all these other nations, the European nations <coughs> intervening. And also what? The African nations, okay, so all these nations are going to get together what, in that region of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Judgment, yep. and shoot their missiles, and the US, they're also playing both sides as well, because they're back in Ukraine, and now I saw again an article yesterday saying that they want, they, they, they want Russia to um, have a meeting with the US, but without Ukraine, yep. but they're back in Ukraine, so US, you know, they're being sneaky again, that's what US do, pit yep. each other against each other, you know, acts against the enemy, so all these nations are getting fed up. Even um, there was a ship in the, what's it, the Taiwan Strait, which is the China Sea, it shouldn't have been there. What's the US ship doing there? So people are getting fed up. Yeah. Well, it's interesting you say that because you said Esau sets other people against other people, but the ultimate irony is that it's gonna be Esau against Esau, Russia versus America. Mm -hmm. Right. What's your to get next? <coughs> okay, now let's go to, um, Go to Ephesians 4 and 17, Baba Kasha. Because, yeah, we went into the prophecies. Now, that was it on the prophecies. That was a lot. Okay, write down. If you've got your notepads, write this all down because it is going to help. Okay. But now we're going to talk about just being what, grounded, rooted in this faith and believing because that's the main thing. Believing, having faith in what we're reading. Because what good is it if you're just reading this but you don't have faith in it? So that's what I really want to push right now. All right, faith to believe. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 
This I say therefore. 16, Baba Kasha. Alright, verse 16. From whom the whole body is fitly joined together and compacted. What? No, where was he? What? Oh, sucker. Oh, man. Ephesians 4, 3 and 16. I'm so lucky oh, about that. That's alright. Ephesians 3, verse 16. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, Ooh. to be strengthened with that mighty. Let me start again. Just like, take your time. Yeah. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit, the inner man. So that's what he's granting us. It's an exhortation that we can be what strengthened by the might of his spirit in the inner man. So guess what? Yahusha strengthens you. When you're dwelling in, when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for him, he's going to strengthen you. When you're praying, when you're fasting, he's going to strengthen you. And you have to believe that in these times, there's more. Yep. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. No, I've already read that one. It's like it. That, the, that Hamashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. That Hamashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith. So he dwells in you if you have faith in him. Keep him believing. Come on now. That he may be rooted, being rooted and grounded. Rooted, just like these trees, it's rooted. Yep. Tree shouldn't be able Cover to Cover yourself, over. man. Okay. Yep. Continuing Somebody on, it behind, says... Behind him, just doing a piece. Um, that Hamashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith. No respect, That man. you being rooted and grounded in you love, may, may be able to comprehend um, with all him, the saints him. what is the oh. breadth and length and depth and height. Fucking dotty dog. That's the kind of thing they do. And to know the love of Hamashiach, which passes oh, knowledge, let me see, man. that he might be filled with all the fullness of the most so high. So we, we've having faith, what, you know Mashiach? We've having faith, you know him, you know his cool. ways. His ways are not strange to you, that's why again we went into um, he kills, he make it for life and all that. Yeah. We know his ways, so this, this is not strange to us. And passive knowledge that may be fulfilled with all fullness of the most high, there's more. Yeah, and it says, and now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly, yeah. abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Hamashiach Yehawah Shai throughout all ages, world without end, Amen. So he's able to do exceedingly great measure. Anything you ask, he's going to do. Okay? We ask or think according to the power that he worketh in us. So the power is within you. It's the power that Yehawah Shai has given you. Always remember that. Even when you're going through hard times. Let's go to Baruch when you're ready. Don't rush. I'm still looking for the exhortation scriptures because we're balanced here. That's my whole thing. We get into the doom and gloom, but we're also what? Faith. Increasing your faith and you should, brother should be joyous. We've got a lot to be happy about. Even though we're suffering these right, affirmities. Now, okay. Right. Bad, bad affirmities. I don't want to complain. I've spoken to some brothers about it, but yeah, brothers, are serious yeah, yeah. affirmities, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like disabling affirmities. Like, yeah. But we can't complain. we still got to keep going. Okay, and Yahweh will heal us in due time, but it's to keep us humble. And maybe, no, not maybe, it's because we done, we went off. So again, when certain things happen to us, you've got to be like, hold on a minute. I went off here, I went off to, to analyse. Okay? Yep. Baruch chapter 3, and we go straight to 21, Baba Kasha. Right, this is Luke, uh, not Luke, Baruch <laughs> 3 and 21. <clears throat> Sure, don't we start from 20? Even that, yeah, even that. All right, come on. Young men have seen light and dwelt upon the earth. Nah, wrong one. Oh, I keep doing that. So lucky, I keep no doing that. No Barak 4 and mm -hmm. 21. Right, Baruch 4 and 21. Yeah. It says, Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord Yehoshai, and he shall deliver you from the power and hand of thine enemies. So Yahweh Shai wants you to be of good cheer, be of a good mind, even though we're going through what we're going through. Always keep that positive mindset. Even though it may be hard sometimes, keep that mindset. Look what you've done for Yahweh Shai. Have you I, ever already been wanting? You wanted to say something? No, you said look what you've done for Yahweh Shai and look what Yahweh Shai have done for us. Yeah, I to what for that correction. Mm -hmm. Right, and look what Yahweh Shai has done for us. And I was, you know what, I was about to say that. Hasn't he got you to camp most of the time? <laughs> yep. Hasn't he put food in your mouth? It's him that does that. And a roof over your head. And a roof over your head. And giving you your daily bread that rhymes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All these different things. He's got you here today. Teaching his words. So again. 
Or learning the word. And learning the word as well. That's why, what, what does it say? Be of good cheer, oh my children. Continue, Baba Kishore. Yeah, it says, for my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you, and joy is come unto me, which shall soon come unto you, from the everlasting, our saviour. That's right. So that's what we're looking, to be saved, to be delivered from this cesspool, from this wickedness. Okay, and this is what we have a hope in. A major hope in this. Yep, read on. Yep. It says, For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. So again, he sent us out with mourning and weeping. What? That's part of our affliction. We're still mourning. We're still weeping. But Yahweh Shah, what's he going to do? Yahweh, what's he going to do? Wipe away every tear. All right. And he's reconciliated us into Yahweh Shai. But we could be joint unto the Heavenly Father, reconciled with him. In the kingdom, we're going to be in Yahweh's presence. In his presence. Standing before him. Um, there's more, there's a lot more. Just a quick precept. Uh, this is, uh, if I may. Revelation 21 and verse 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all, all tears, tears from their eyes, and there shall no more be death, nor sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So, so do you want to speak on that? No, I was reading that because it says um, in Baruch, we were just reading that, it says, verse 23, Baruch 4 and 23, it says, For I sent you out with mourning and with weeping, for the Most High will give you to me again with joy and with gladness for, with forever. So those precepts both link up. Reading on, it says, Like as now, the neighbours of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Right. So they've seen our captivity. But All they, these nations. But they didn't give a shit about us. Psalms 83. Yeah, they benefited off our captivity, man. That's why I ain't got no respect for a lot of you nations, man. Yeah, we focus on Esau, talking about. Go, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we focus on Esau, because he's the number one villain. But you, all you, all of you nations have had a part to play in our downfall, man. So don't think you're going to get away with it. There's judgments waiting for your asses, man. Right. They've all conspired against us. Yep, the Psalms tabernacles of Edom. Okay. Tabernacles of uh, Ishmael. Moab. Moab. Ammon. Ammon. The Ashar is draining with them. They're all of hope and not. See, paraphrasing. See, and it should even get to that point as well where you're able to do a video. Even without the scriptures in your. Yeah, because when all this hell breaks loose, what are you going to do with martial arts? Are you going to. Let me just grab my Bible. No. But let's put it this way. in your mind. That's a good point. Let, let me put it this way. Let's say you're hemmed up in a detention centre and they, they strip you, they take away your belongings Everything. and they put you in some, like, you know, what do they call it? Prison clothes. You're just stuck up there in a the cell. What are you going to be meditating on? What's going to be your knowledge? What's going to be your stability in those times? You're locked up in a cell by yourself, just sitting there. What are you going to be doing? It's these, it's these precepts right. that should be rooted in your mind. That's why you need to, to, to um, meditate on the law of the Lord day and night. Yeah. Study to show thyself approved. Right. A workman rightly dividing the word of, the word of truth that needeth not to be ashamed. I believe that's in Timothy. Right. Yep, that is. Read on. Go ahead. And it says, uh, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from the Most High. For thy 